Tim, you've talked about almost retraining the microbes, like Olympic athletes, right? Getting them going a few steps at a time and then getting your microbes used to fibre. So I actually have a really lovely question here. Everybody's microbiome is different and a lot of people are on a back foot and the way and the rate of which your microbes assimilate carbohydrate is different for each person, right? So I'd be fascinated to know, and I'm not saying you know the answer to this, can you over a period of months or a little longer retrain or rebalance your microbes in that training to assimilate carbohydrate more slowly by changing the balance as you change your diet? We don't know, but basically if you increase in general amount of fiber you're eating, you will slow down the release of sugars into the bloodstream. So, and by eating more fiber, you are in a way going to be introducing more species of microbes. So they are associated. What I don't know is whether they directly cause it or a, a byproduct. But um, you know, fiber is a complex uh, thing to talk about. It's not just about the structure of the food. It's not just about making it transit easier. Um, you know, it's providing food for the microbes themselves to eat off and convert into other chemicals, but it's also you know, interfering with the way that sugars are absorbed from the bread as well. So you're like protecting the carbohydrate from the digestion of other enzymes, and so it's, it is a slower uh, way into the system. So fiber has a multiple different roles, and it's going to do a little bit of all of them. I don't know which one is the more important.